Today we're going to show you how to make Chica. Right, Maya? Is this an awesome costume, Maya? Oh, see, this is Chica. We just made it for our three-year-old, three and we're going to show you exactly how you make everything, step by step. Maya, let me see your face. Yeah, Chica, look, Chica has two little teeth growing here and one that's already fully grown. She's still little. Chica's little, huh, Maya? She's friendly, yeah. so we don't we don't scare other kids, right? Yeah, everybody's gonna Wow, I love that, Maya. Everybody's gonna think and she's so And it's more cute. like a, in a helmet gonna, shape, so that way little kids don't feel too, don't feel everybody's scared um, of being enclosed. So I just made it halfway, but you can always dress here with more foam and make it a full head. Right, Maya? Say bye-bye, Maya. Bye-bye, Maya. <laughs> okay, for Chica, I found this nice helmet um, at the thrift store. So I'm going to be using it to create the beak um, in the front over here. So what I would do is make sure, just cut this portion all the way off the bottom here. Okay, just leave this in that top portion. That's what we're going to create. We use, we use it for the beak. So, just clean all the inside. Okay, cut it off. All this inside here. Just leave that top and this top on it. And then measure on your on yourself and make sure that the opening here will be at your eye level. So once you find out what the level here, then go ahead and glue with hot glue gun both sides so it stays stable. Okay, we don't want it moving when you're working with the designing the face. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, I've done that. I've cleaned the inside, got the, the lower portion, and it's now stable. It's glued at eye level. See, that's the eye over there. So we're going to be... Now I'm going to be applying a green, uh, black screen into here, the, the opening of the mouth. Okay, so we're going to be using the black screen fab fabric for that. And then we're going to put some foam over here. Actually, we're using um, half an inch foam from jo Joann's. This is the foam that you're going to find. It's like light green and it's only half an inch thick, okay? So that's what we're gonna use to shape the face and apply some on the beak and um, shape the face however we want it. And we need the yellow fabric, same color as Chica, and the kind of orange uh, felt so we can make the, the beak detail. And I think that's pretty much all we need. And the hot glue gun, of course. That's all we're going to need for this project. And I, also, I, need, I have two eyes that I got um, to, to create the, the eyes here. And I'm going to have to design the face first, draw the face on. So I think that's the next step. We're gonna, the next step is we're going to draw up here draw the eyes and where we want the the eyebrows to be so that way more or less we know the height where things are going to be instead of just doing it and doing it wrong and then having to redo it so let's do that okay i drew more or less where i want the eyes to be and the eyebrows and this is where i'm going to be creating the beak along with this border over here so I'm going to close here a little bit because I want the, the opening of the mouth to be at the same level as the eye here. So I'm just going to close a little bit of the sides. So the next step is to open the eye socket and then we'll put the eyes on. And after that we're going to see what we need to do based on the eye level. Okay, this is the eye that I'm going to be using for Chica. That's how my kids wanted um, to be, like this velvet, reddish 
color on the inside just to create the same look that they saw online so for this what I did I didn't find the eye of course like this so this is the eye that I found at the the party store you know if you want to make it look really scary you know the blood vessels will help the scary look but I want uh, Chica to be friendly because we're going to be working with kids. So Chica has to be friendly. So I went around with the sandpaper. I cleaned it all, all around. Then I applied glue to the middle. You know, I used this little glue here from that has sparkles from the Dollar Tree. It, it dries clear, which I like. Clear with the sparkles. But I instead of the red sparkles, I just added... Uh, my kind of velvet reddish color. I sprinkled it once I after I put the glue around it. I cleaned it with the the chopstick here. So you just clean around with that and shape it however you want it because you're gonna get glue probably everywhere there. So I just covered the blue part around it. Then I sprinkled the the sparkles and then I cleaned with the toothpick around it and let it dry. So this is the look that it gives. Okay, this is what I have for Chica so far. I made the upper beak. I, j I dressed it just so I can design everything around around that one. Uh, then I went ahead and applied uh, foam everywhere because I want to create a, a socket here. So I need to have the foam to kind of create that. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and let's see the eyes are inside. I need to I need to put some fabric in here too. I'm going to put a piece of fabric here and glue it just so the eye doesn't pop back and doesn't get moved. And there's Chica's mouth. Now I'm going to apply the yellow fabric everywhere here. Here. And then black fabric around the eye. Okay. And then I'm going to make a little hair here, like Chica. And put some teeth. Chica should be ready to go. She's finally taking shape right now. So I went ahead and um, applied the fabric all the way around. Okay. I just left it up because I'm gonna apply it to the to the little hair piece there and glue it. I just wanted to make sure it was a clean cut, so I tried to to do one cut and just shape it all the way around versus cutting small fabrics and just applying small fabrics, small pieces. So her eyes are in. As you can see, I applied the screen in the mouth. So let me show you the inside. So I glued the screen to that part of the beak. And I applied some foam in here just because my daughter is a three-year-old and she has a small head. And Applied some black felt to the eyes over there so the guys the eyes are not just loose in the back. You want to make sure that it's all um, attached in case it falls on the ground. Okay, 
So I'm going to finish the hair, the hair, the little hair right there. And I'm going to apply black around the eye, both eyes. And then I need to still dress the bottom here with yellow. And I'll be showing you. Okay, we're going to do the last step for Chica, which is applying this the elastic around here so it works as a helmet and it will stay in place. So I just went over there and measure around your neck in the back and hot glue hot glue it to to the sides, okay? So one from there to here and one from here to there to there. And that's it for Chica. Chica's looking really good. I love it. Especially those little two new teeth growing. Oh, Chica, you look so cute. Alrighty, have fun. I hope you get to work on it and get to dress up as Chica. That's going to be a lot of fun. Good luck.